Hi everyone, I am back for another pig update. I've got Paul here with me and Waffles is lounging over there. So I'm in the boys pen. The last time I did a pig update, we had just moved them off of pasture onto a dry lot and we were still kind of getting their winter feed system and schedule and amounts kind of dialed in. So we've been doing that for almost two months. So I thought I would do a little update and share uh, what their winter feed looks like. So just a little recap on the pigs. We have uh, four Cooney Coonies. So we have two boars, Paul and Waffles, and then two gilts, Tunes and Wilma. So they're all just about 11 months. They were born late February, early March of 2021. So they're almost a year old, but they won't breed until fall of 2022 and that'll be about when they're a year and a half which is which is recommended for this breed because they're just a little slower growers so they've been here on this dry lot since the first week of december so um almost almost two months they've been here and so far it's going really well i wasn't sure if we would need to move them if the poop would just get too much or kind of what that would all look like but we've been just kind of doing a deep bedding system so every couple of days I just go and put more mulch on top of the poop and that just keeps the poop covered so their feet stay clean and we've been doing a couple different things as far as the mulch that we've been using we, we have some old orchard grass that kind, kind of got a little funky so um, like a, too funky for feeding so we've been using that as mulch but we're pretty low on that and so we've also used pine shavings we use them often for chicken bedding but we've used pine shavings And then the thing that I use the most are the stems from the alfalfa. So we, um, we feed the pigs alfalfa hay um, as part of their, their winter feed routine. And there's a lot of stems that they won't eat. They, they mostly eat the leaves. And so those alfalfa stems provide for a really great mulch to go over the poop here in the dry lot. So that's been working out really, really well. So I just want to clarify what I mean by the deep bedding. So the pigs don't actually poop in their shelter where they sleep. They mostly poop around the perimeter of their pen and in the corners. But because they're staying in the same location and we're not rotating them around pasture right now, I want to keep that poop covered. So that's why we're utilizing the deep bedding and adding all of that carbon. We never want our animals living in an environment where there's an excess of waste. So this deep bedding will ensure a healthy balance, which will keep the pigs happy and healthy. But also by adding all of this carbon, it'll help to build a compost system right here on this patch of land. So the carbon will help sequester and break down the pee and the poop and we'll be left with a fertile planting area. So they're still getting the same amount of grain. They each get about a cup and a half in the morning and in the evening. Because they're not on pasture anymore, we've also added some alfalfa pellets. I give them alfalfa pellets with their grain in the morning and the evening. And so they get about half a cup. No, no. So they get about half a cup in the morning and another half a cup in the evening. 
Um, and that half a cup is measured dry, but um, I actually soak it so it swells up quite a bit bigger um, and gets a little bit more mushy and uh, a little bit softer for them. And then they also get some alfalfa hay. We're giving them alfalfa over like orchard grass hay or something like that because that's what's available to us. Later in the season, we just weren't able to find organic orchard grass hay. Well, we got one ton of it earlier in the season, but that kind of went pretty quickly. And so we were able to find organic alfalfa hay. Um, and so that's just what we've been using. And alfalfa is just, um, it's a higher protein content. What's the matter? It's a higher protein content than something like orchard grass. The pigs seem to really enjoy it. I put one flake in the boys' pen and one flake in the girls' pen in the morning and the evening. So that averages out to a flake per pig per day. And those flakes are coming from a 90 pound bale of alfalfa. And then as far as water goes, we never wound up doing any sort of heated situation. The rubber pails that we've been using have been working out really well. Um, we did stop using the really big pails um, because it was just too much water in there and like too thick of a layer of ice was forming. So we did away with them and they just don't, they don't drink as much, you know, in the winter. Um, compared to when it's when it's warm in the summer. So we did away with the really big pails and we've been using just the smaller ones and because they're rubber if the if the ice layer is like too thick for me to break it with a stick I can just easily because they're smaller I can easily flip over the pail and just stomp out the ice and it comes out pretty well and doesn't like damage the pail at all. So there were a couple days when it was like in the single temps um, during the day and like below free or below zero overnight. And those couple of days, every couple hours, there would be some surface ice forming. So I just came out and would break it. But that might not work for you if you're, if you're off site a lot, uh, but it works for us because I'm home. So I can just come out and check and make sure on those really cold days that the water is still, still liquid. that's been what the winter has been looking like for us and for the pigs. I think we'll wind up just keeping them here. We'll see um, if we decide to move them to just um, another area that's another dry lot. But the deep bedding is going really well. They seem really happy, but I'm sure they're excited just like us for green grass to come in the spring. So I hope you've found this helpful, especially if you're thinking about getting some Cooney Coonies. I know for me, when I am looking to get a new animal, I really like to kind of figure out feed costs and logistics and what all of that is going to look like. So this has been working out really well for us. The pigs are looking great. They're still growing really well. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. No.